electric mixer, it can be made with a hand mixer, a KitchenAid, or it can be made by hand using a wire whip and a spatula. If you don't have these tools, you can do it with a wooden spoon. So I have the correct amount of sugar in the bottom of this bowl. I'm going to add pumpkin puree, which is a canned, this is a canned product. If you were feeling it and you wanted to roast your own pumpkin, you could. I am going to add the fat, which is oil in this particular case. And so now we have all our wet things, or almost all our wet things, in this bowl. I'm going to take the wire whip, and I am just going to, whoops, make a mess, blend these together. Bring them together as best I can. You'll notice they don't actually completely emulsify, but with a little extra work, you can get the fat, the sugar, and the pumpkin to be well blended. I'm then going to take three eggs and I'm going to crack them into this bowl. There's one, there's two, and there's three. And one at a time, I'm going to plunk them into, there we go, there's one. And I'm going to whisk it in until it's well blended. I'm going to plunk in the second one. They don't call this quick bread for nothing, people. All right, two eggs. The third egg goes in, whisk until it's smooth, and then we're ready for our dry ingredients. I have our flour, I have the salt, and the chemical leavener. I have to step away for a second because I just want to sift this in here just to make sure there are no lumps, which there are. We don't like that. I'm going to push it through. All right. I have dry spices, cinnamon, cloves, that fresh nutmeg again. Remember, here's that nutmeg seed. We did it in a previous video. You grate it against the microplane. I have previously grated some, and this recipe calls for two teaspoons. So there's one and there's two and a little bit to grow an inch. And I am going to take a small whisk and whisk all our dry ingredients together. If you don't have a small whisk, you can use a fork. And that works just fine. If you have a big whisk, that'll work as well. So now all our dry ingredients are in here. We have flour, leavener, salt, three different warm spices. This is going to be added to our pumpkin mixture all at once. And then with the whisk, we are just going to stir gently until it's blended. Now, a couple of things. You don't want to overmix this, so it's really important once the dry and the wet are combined, Stop the mixing. So I'm going to stop right here. Now I know there's some dry bits at the bottom, and I'm going to take the spatula, scrape the side, and go all the way to the bottom and turn this over. And ladies and gentlemen, there is pumpkin tea cake. Now this makes a really large loaf. It's nine by nine and a half by five and a half by four and a half. But what I have here and what I'm giving to you are two smaller aluminum disposable loaf pans with a paper liner. So it's almost like a muffin paper for a loaf pan. And uh, you are going to pour half the batter into one, which I'm sure you can't see, but you will in a second. And the other half of the batter into the other. 
And we want to get them as even as possible. Now I'm assuming if you have a scale at home, I highly recommend you scale these. Uh, if you don't, then you have to eyeball them. But you are going to have two beautiful pumpkin tea cakes for your home. And you can serve these on Thanksgiving. You can share one if you want to. And there we go. Now, again, we give them a little teeny bit of a shake. Shake, shake, shake. And there we have two pumpkin tea cakes. Um, they can be finished with a couple of different things. I have pumpkin seeds. These are roasted, salted pumpkin seeds. And I actually like to use these. So I'm just gonna take out a little handful, which is about the equivalent of about a tablespoon. And I'm just gonna sprinkle the pumpkin seeds over the top. And I mean, since we're making pumpkin bread, we want pumpkin seeds on it. The other thing that you can use is turbinado sugar or coarse sugar. I believe I ordered coarse, or it's also called sanding sugar for you. I want you to get a kind of a, here, let me put it in here, a good look at this. If you don't know, it's known as sugar in the raw, so it's got a coarser texture. And when you sprinkle this over the top, it's going to give the outside of the pumpkin bread a crunchy texture. And that's because the coarser the sugar, the less it melts. And there you have it, two loaves of pumpkin tea cake. I'm gonna actually clean off this sheet tray. I'm gonna put them on the sheet tray, pop them in the oven. They will take about 50 minutes, I'm guessing. When they're done, I'll let you know. Thanks. And there you have it, two pumpkin tea cakes. They took 45 minutes to bake.